Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can use Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector to inject NES games on your Wii U. Now, you're going to want to be using this if there's an NES game out there that wasn't released on the eShop, but you still want to be able to play it through using the Virtual Console on your Wii U console. Now, in order to use this guide, you're going to need to have custom firmware on your Wii U, and you're also going to have to have WUP Installer GX2 configured and running on your Wii U. I'm not going to be going into that in this video, but you can find more information on Wii U.Guide. If you follow the custom firmware tutorial, you can use Mocha custom firmware, Hacksheet, or Colboot Hacksheet in order to get all of that configured. Now. First thing you're going to want to do is launch Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector on your PC. I showed how to do this in my last Wii U modding video, but if you haven't seen that, make sure you check out the playlist, and I will link that video in the description, but you have to have the program set up on your PC before you do anything. So, launch the program right here, and now you will see the start home screen click on the NES menu okay so now that you're at the NES section of the injector all you're gonna want to do is click on this drop down menu and you're gonna select Metroid from the United States or whatever region you live in whatever region your Wii U is so I have a US Wii U so I'm gonna click on this and then it's gonna say that the base is not downloaded so over here it says that the base is not downloaded so I'm going to click on download, and it should be good. Now, if you don't have the title key entered, you're going to have to get the title key entered. So I did want to point that out. You're going to need to get the title key entered in this installation of Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector. However, I have already gotten the title key entered into the injector, but you're going to need to find the title key if you need more information. Keys.obh. Anyway, so over here you have the option for pixel perfect mode. However, I'm not going to be selecting that since none of the NES games in actual Virtual Console have pixel perfect on, but it is an option if, in case you want to have per pixel perfect, that is an option for you. Now you're going to want to click on the ROM path, and the ROM that I'm going to be using is Tetris. Dot NES. Click on the dot .NES file of the game that you're injecting. Now it's going to ask you for an icon image. You can create this within the injector itself. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to do this personally. Click on create file. Now it's going to ask for an overlay or not. You can choose not having an overlay but I don't like Doing that, I like to have an overlay, and there are different options, but I like for all of my uh, games to kind of look the same. So, click on select file for the title screen. So, most of the time, or all of the time, for virtual console games, the icon is the title screen in the game. So, that's why I like having my injects having their icon be the title screen. You can find these simply off of uh, Google or wherever, but as you guys can see, this is the, the title screen for Tetris. You can find them off Google if you want them really, if you want really good quality ones, you can even probably launch an emulator on your PC and take a screenshot of the title screen. I did that for, for some of my uh, DS injects, but just click on the icon that you want to use, click finish. Now it's going to ask you for a TV image, so click on TV image, and you can choose to have an overlay or not. I want an overlay, so I'm going to click on that. Game name, Tetris. Release date in North America was 1989, so you can do that. And if, if, um, if the title is a little longer or it doesn't fit on the first line for your game, you can always just do a second title underneath. This game is only one player, so I'm just going to leave the player section blank, and then you can click on the finish button. Now, you can do a custom gamepad image, a custom logo image, and even a custom boot sound, but I'm not going to mess around with those since I like to have mine match as much as they can 
from my virtual console titles from the eShop. So as for the game name, I'm just going to put on put Tetris. You can do double lined, so you could do Tetris on the NES and there will be two lines, but I'm just going to name it Tetris for simplicity. And then after that, just click on the inject button. Alrighty, so now that the injection is complete, click on open folder. And in your completed folder in File Explorer, you will see the complete game WUP installable files. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your SD card out of your Wii U. Completely take that out. Plug it into your PC. And now you'll see your SD card for your Wii U. Simply take this file here, this folder here. Copy that and then put it in the install folder on your SD card. If you already don't have this folder from following Wii U.guide, make sure that you create it. And all you need to do is just paste it there and it will copy everything it needs to install the game on your Wii U. After this, you're pretty much done on your PC and you can head on over to your Wii U console. Alright, so now on your Wii U console, what you're going to want to do is head on over and launch WUP Installer GX2 from either your Wii U menu or from the homebrew launcher. And as you guys can see, we're in WUP Installer, so just click on Tetris or whatever the game name is and then click install and then click yes. And then when it asks you where you want to install it, I prefer to have all my games on my USB. But I know some game, some people like to have all of their games, all their virtual console games on their NAND. You can honestly install it on whatever you want. I know some people refer and say that's a better idea to install it on your USB first and then move it to the NAND. But honestly, for a game this small, nothing bad's honestly going to happen. So click on the USB button or wherever you want to install it. And then after that, it will be done installing the game. So click on OK, and then head back on over to your Wii U menu. Now that you're back onto your Wii U menu, you can click on your virtual console game. And as you guys can see, if you don't see a blue screen or a black screen, it works. So. I'm playing with my Pro Controller, my Wii U Pro Controller right here. Um, but yeah, this, this is how you inject games. You can mess around with your controller settings or and configure your controller in here. You can uh, create a restore point if you want to. But uh, yeah, I think we're just going to I think we're just going to do a regular game. Hmm. We'll go with this theme. Level one, because or zero but yeah this is how you inject virtual console games on your wii u i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful if you guys enjoyed the tutorial or want to see another one for snes games then definitely let me know i know this video was very highly requested and i was having a lot of issues with this video like getting everything to work so this was actually a video that was pretty hard to make but uh i I worked through it and now everything works like it's supposed to. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave a comment or contact me on Discord. I would really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for all your support. And definitely, definitely, definitely make sure to check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash datazemnus. I stream on there. I stream a lot of different games on there. Nintendo variety of stuff kingdom hearts speedrunning is one of my main focuses on there as well so if you guys are interested in that definitely definitely go make sure to drop me a follow on twitch i'd really really appreciate it and i would really really be happy to see you um on my streams but uh yeah next video will be on snes injections and i will see you guys in the next one Thank you so much for watching and be sure to leave a like and drop a sub. Bye everyone.